Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of application of derivatives. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if five times a function f of x plus four times a function one over x is equal to x square minus two, where all the values of x are possible except zero, and y is 9x square into the function f of x. The question is asking us y is strictly increasing in the limits. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are from 0 to 1 over root 5 union, 1 over root 5 to infinity. The second answer choice we have here is minus 1 over root 5 to 0 union 1 over root 5 to infinity the third answer choice we have here is minus 1 over root 5 to 0 union 0 to 1 over root 5 and the fourth answer choice that we have here is minus infinity to 1 over root 5 union 0 to 1 over root 5 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question and find the correct answer for the question. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. So you understand them in the better way. Let's try to understand how to solve this question further. So it's told to me f of x multiplied five times, four times f of one over x is equal to x square minus two. So instead of x, if I put one over x everywhere, so substituting instead of x, one over x everywhere, let's see what I get. So I get five times function one over x, plus four times a function one over one over x is equals to one over x the whole squared minus two. So I get from here five times function one of x plus four times a function of x is equals to one over x squared minus two. So I get this uh, whole thing. Now further, if I try to solve these two equations, let's try to solve these two equations. So I have f of x and f of one over x. So I'll just substitute f of x as a, f of 1 over x as b. So I get from here 5a plus 4b is equal to x square minus 2. The other equation becomes 5b plus 4a is equal to 1 over x square minus 2. So we will resubstitute that a and b as f of x and f of 1 over x. But let's try to further solve this question now. So what I will try to do here is I'll try to eliminate one of the variables. So I want to find f of x. So basically I want a. So I want to eliminate b. To eliminate b, I'll make the coefficients of b same. So if I multiply this with 5 and I will multiply this with 4, let's see what I get. So from here what I get is 25a plus 20b is equals to 5 x square minus 2. And here I get 16a plus 20b is equal to 4 times 1 over x square minus 2. So I get this. Now further I will do here a subtraction of all of them. So this 20 bit gets cancelled. 25 minus 16 you get 9a. It's equals to 5x square minus 10 minus 4 over x square because minus is multiplied with this and minus of minus becomes plus, so plus 8. So if I further try to solve it, I get 9a equals 5x square minus 4 over x square and minus 10 and plus 8 becomes minus 2. So you get 5 x raised to 4 minus 2 x square minus 4 divided by x square. This is basically 9a. So a from here I get 1 over 9. 5x raised to 4 minus 2x square minus 
4 divided by x squared. So I get a and a here is nothing but resubstituting a. I get a I can resubstitute as f of x. So from here I get f of x is 1 over 9, 5x raised to 4 minus 2x squared minus 4 divided by x squared. So we have f of x with us. Now once I have f of x with me, further if I try to solve this question, let's see what I get. So if I further try to solve the question, it's telling me the value of y which you have to find which is strictly increasing y is given to us as 9x square into function of f of x. So y is 9x square into f of x. So it's basically 9x square into functions value we have been given here. 1 over 9 divided by x square also. And here the upward expression if I see it's 5x raised to 4 minus 2x squared minus 4. So from here, I get 9 and x squared getting cancelled. So you are left with 5x raised to 4 minus 2x squared minus 4. So we get this as the value of y. Now we have to basically just find that this y which we have got, it's basically strictly increasing in what limits of x. So let's try to further find this. So when I have to find whether it's increasing or decreasing, I'll use the concepts of applications of derivatives that was we'll use the idea of maxima and minima so for that i'll first find the first derivative of this that basically becomes y dash and the derivative of this becomes 20 x cube this becomes 4 x and this is zero so you get the first derivative 20 x cube minus 4 x so from here i get 4 and x common so what you get 4 and x common is basically 5 x squared minus 1 so you have this entire function for the derivative y dash. Now once I have y dash, the question is telling me it should be increasing. So when it is increasing, the first derivative that you're finding dy over dx, that y dash should be greater than zero. So the first derivative should be greater than zero. And if I see the first derivative means this, 4x into 5x squared minus one should be greater than zero. So I have to find the values for this. So what I understand from this is basically the product of x into 5x square minus 1 should be greater than 0. So if I first equate it with 0 to find the limits where your values of x will be either increasing or decreasing. So instead of greater than if I just put it equals to to first find the critical points. So to find the critical points if I do that. I get x equals to 0 or. Here, if I get 5x square minus 1 equals 0, so 5x square equals 1, so x square is 1 over 5, and that gives me x is plus or minus 1 over. So I have three critical points. One is 0, one is 1 over root 5, the other is minus 1 over root. Now let's just find the signs for this product of x into 5x square minus 1 should be greater than 0. So let's put any value greater than 1 over root 5. So 1 over root 5, root 5 is basically 2 point something. So 1 over 2 point something, basically that means it's less than half. It's less than 0 0.5. So if I put, let's say x as 1. So let's substitute. Let's put x as 1. Once I put x as 1, let's say what I get here is this is 1. 5 into 1 squared, so 5 minus 1, which is 4. So 1 into 4, basically 4, that's greater than 0. So what I understand is this is satisfied. So it is increasing in this interval. So when it is increasing in this interval, we know alternately it's going to decrease, increase and decrease again. So it's basically going to decrease in this interval. It's going to increase in this interval again. And it's again going to decrease in this interval. If you want to verify this idea also, you can do that. So if I see in the fourth, this idea, Minus 1 over root 5 is again less than minus 0 0.5 something. So it can put x as minus 1. So let's check whether that's negative. So minus 1, if I put here for this function, I get minus 1. 5 into minus 1 square. So 1, 5 into 1 is 5 and minus 1, which is 4. So you get negative 4. And negative 4 is not greater than 0. So you get this is decreasing in this. So basically your y is strictly increasing in these two regions. And these two regions basically gives you the limits of x that turns out to become x belongs to 
minus 1 over root 5 comma 0 union 1 over root 5 comma infinity. So you get this entire limits for x where your y is strictly increasing. So minus 1 over root 5 comma 0 and 1 over root 5 comma infinity. So basically that if I see matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we had the two equations f of x and f of 1 over x. We replaced x with 1 over x, solved the two equations, got f of x. Once I got f of x, I found y and then I had to just use the idea of increasing and decreasing functions. So I found the two regions where the function was increasing and that gave me the limits of x that matches with option b. So b becomes the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well. And do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.